Som Chen Kui. ແລະປະກາດບັນຕໍ່ສາວນາກາສົມຈຶງລູບລີຍາມມີສົມນູມັນຕໍ Thank you Mr. President. A good afternoon Mr. Witness. We were talking about um, the meeting um, that you uh, described in your DC CAM uh, interview, um, the meeting at which you believe there was discussion of a plan to attack the um, CAM. Um, where, where was it that the, this meeting took place? Can you Describe where, where the location was and whether the meeting was in a building or whether it was held outside. Do you remember whether the meeting was held inside or was it a meeting held outside? I believe you testified earlier that there were about a hundred people at this meeting. Is that correct? You said that you did not recall much about the meeting because you were far away at the back. Um, how far away were you from uh, the speaker? And were you able to hear uh, what was being said? Um, or were you too far away to understand what was being said at the meeting? Mr. Witness, do you, do you remember as you sit here whether you could hear anything that was said at this meeting or whether you were too far away to hear uh, what was being discussed? ຕາປີກະຫຼາຍໃນໂລກອົງກຸຍໃນក្នុងອົງປະຊຸມນັ້ນຕົກກະຫຼາຍແນ່ແລະບາກອົງປະຊຸມນັ້ນວິຊ្
to that later. I want to ask you now uh, about another thing uh, that was in your DC CAM interview um, that the Defense Council asked you today, uh, which was um, uh, about the uh, uh, your involvement in transporting a truck of weapons. Um, when was it that you transported uh, this I truck maintain of weapons. Was it about uh, uh, the meeting that Um, no objection. Um, Mr. President, the question uh, 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 to ask the Defense Council is um, I, I note something very peculiar in the answers um, in this, of this witness, and I would like to um, be able to uh, uh, request the Chamber to uh, 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 put it in any context. I think uh, West Sioux should be involved. Um, um, so I think maybe it's a wise idea to close the doors. Sorry, are you asking for a closed session? Because we are going to close doors. And the reason, because as you know, we are going to go into closed session. Or can you only give us the reason in closed session? Well, um, the sudden change in the nature of his answers uh, made me stand up and request for a brief period. Uh, 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 I, I don't understand why we need to go to the I have no objection if the bench wishes to ask him any questions at this time as to whether he had any context at lunchtime. Well, if the bench wishes to ask the question, the inclination to answer that uh, question is to in close session. Um, uh, the chamber requests to go into closed session. The mere fact that the witness has changed his testimony um, is a sufficient reason for this. And um, furthermore, the additional uh, um, allegation or indication that something might have been said over lunch has been said now in open session, so that defeats the purpose of closed session. 
dari jihad mui nom oi minta senang som bak sab nak kah asal tiada bab ni nuti. Sumbu berinya mentol sumbu. Mr. Witness, sah berinya lok sah say. You described to DC Cam some information about a truck of weapons that was transported. If you did not transport that truck of weapons, who did and how did you hear about it? Hey, lok cila, lok atman dah kabut nuk tuwing. Jeng ta nak nak cie nak dah kabut nuk hey lok dang tak kita dah kabut cium mak nung pin neng dang doy rubip na. Dang ta mungkin tiap nyie dia nak nak. And do you know where the weapons were picked up and where they were transported to? Do you know any details such as that? Okay, one more thing I would like to say. I would like to say that the weapons were picked up and where they were transported to. I would like to say that. And the meeting um, that is described in your DC Cam interview uh, at which uh, the Division Secretary uh, uh, purportedly talked about a plan of a coup or to attack uh, if you weren't present at that meeting how did you hear about it? Uh, supposed meeting Do you remember how it is you learned about this? Who, who you heard uh, this information from? Who in your unit told you about this? I understand. Do you remember the name or names of the persons who told you about this meeting? And do you remember approximately when it was that this meeting took place? Um, and, uh, I'm not asking you for a month or a year, um, but if you could tell us um, when the meeting took place in relation to the time, that Thothun was arrested, um, was Uun arrested uh, a few days after this meeting, uh, was it weeks after the meeting, or was it months after the meeting that Thothun was arrested? ทีมตัวนั้นเป็นเวลาเดือนเอ่อการประชุมนี่คือเวลาเงินมุ่นเป็นแต่เอื้อนจับลุ้นประมาณทั้งไงได้หรือก็กล่าวเป็นจับลุ
ฉลาจูนมาจากโดนไอกษากัมพูชีเราเห็นนี่คือไอกษาเออบายเลจัดสปรามสามสปรามเอเอ็นจะไปสังขมายโซนโซนโซนปรามบายปรามปีปรามบายปีปรามปีอังกฤษโซนโซนบายปีบุญมวยปรามปีปรามมวยฝรั่งบรามโซนโซนบายปีบุญปีมวยปรามปี And this is what you indicated in your interview with Mr. Kim. Question: Did you know where Ta Un was transferred to? Answer: Later on, we called to a meeting and got informed about that. They said that your boss was accused as a traitor and arrested. Question: Who called that meeting? Answer. I had no clue about his name. His eyes were so red and fierce. Question: What did he say? Answer: He said you attempted to attack Phnom Penh. Now your boss was arrested. Then he played a recorded cassette. He wanted us to hear Ta Un's. Question: What did Ta Un say? He said he had betrayed the country many years ago since the coup in 1970. End of quote. Mr. Witness, does that refresh your memory? Do you remember a meeting after Ta's arrest? Led by a man who you described as having fierce and red eyes, at which they played a tape recording of the confession. Do you remember this? Okay, please take your seat. Mr. Witness, is it is it possible that the information you remember about a supposed plot involving Eun, involving Khoi Thun, Chakri, is it possible that this information came from a meeting in which the new heads of the division played a tape of the confession. Is that where you may have obtained some of your information about these events? Mr. Witness, is it possible that the information you remember about these events Well, Mr. Witness, we're trying to understand why you said some made some of your statements to DC Cam about a supposed plot to attack Phnom Penh. And my question is. Is it possible that some of that information that you conveyed to DC Cam came from what you were told by the people who took over the division and people who played a recording of the confession? Question: Is it possible that some of the information that Mr. Witness, I want to ask you about a few documents that are pertinent to these issues. First, Your Honours, I would like to read an excerpt to the witness on document E3-810, 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 
ក្នុងកថាខណ្ឌ <coughs> នៅដូចជាកំសៅជាតាមអាហារដែលបានរបបអាហារគត់គង់មកទៅអស់គឺ uh, this was September 1976 And the other part of this report I wanted to ask you about uh, in paragraph six of the same report um, that Secretary Un made uh, to Son Sen and others at the 1976 meeting, he said the are not yet loyal, looking to betray unsatisfied and unhappy with the four-year plan uh, quote. Um, the reason I ask you about this, uh, this witness, um, your DC CAM interview, uh, some of the statements read by the Defense Council uh, suggests that Un was involved in plotting a coup against the party. Uh, yet in this uh, document, uh, Un is openly telling Son Sen that there are cadres in his division that are unhappy with the party policies and looking to betray the party. Do you have any reaction to this? Uh, uh, 
had a man got prop by reporting that there were cautious looking to be charged in the party. And do you have any reactions to this document and information? I object. So I'm changing the way to be. I'm changing the way to be. I object to this question. Um, the witness cannot possibly say what was in Uvin's mind um, during this um, meeting. Obviously, if Uvin was involved in attempting a coup d'etat, he was not going to tell some sense of all people um, that um, uh, he was involved in this. So. The question doesn't make any sense whatsoever, but besides this, um, he's asking for speculation. He doesn't know what Un was thinking or saying um, during this meeting. Perhaps you can reformulate, because the way it was phrased really asked for speculation. Let me rephrase it, Your Honor. Um, here we have a document from mid-September 1976 in which uh, your division secretary reports to Son Sen that there are cadres in the division unhappy with the party's policies who are looking to betray the party. Do you remember whether after this, in late 76 or early 77, uh, there was a representative from Son Sen's office who was assigned to monitor the party, to review biographies, and to look for traitors in the party. Do you remember a period of time where your division was reviewed and monitored by the general staff? ពីអគ្គសេនាធិការទៅនឹងឲ្យទៅពិនិត្យពបទរូបយុទ្ធជនក្នុងកងពលរបស់លោកដើម្បីពិនិត្យមើលអ្នកណាស់ក្បត់
Now I've I've marked the person. Sapreña. I've marked the person whose name uh, I would like you to look at. Um, it's, he is number 34 uh, on that page. Oops. Excuse me. Uh, name Orn Chorn. Identified as a combatant uh, of Company 1 Battalion uh, this person from your company and if so what can you tell us about him and his arrest Do you remember uh, any of the people in your company uh, being arrested and disappearing uh, during uh, the Yankee uh, regime and specifically in 1977? Let, let me turn, try turning to a, a completely new subject, uh, uh, Mr. Witness, um, and, and that is uh, any contact you had with senior leaders uh, the during the time you were based in Phnom Penh uh, Division 310 uh, did you see any of the leaders of the regime uh, at meetings at Olympic Stadium or elsewhere and, and if so can you tell the court about that uh, the government did you ever see Kusum Pan uh, during the, the years that you were in Phnom Penh? Long well, let me ask you then about something you said in your DC camp interview, Your Honors. Uh, I'm going to read first from E3 7535 ដល់សូមប្រាំដែលនេះគឺជាចម្លើយរបស់លោកឆ្លើយជូនមជ្ឈមណ្ឌលឯកសារកម្ពុជាលោកសាក្សីវាន Continuing uh, uh, later in, in the interview, uh, on this case, uh, 
ក្រោយគេសួរថាតើអង្គប្រជុំដែលលោកចូលរួមនឹងមុនក្រោយការចាប់ខ្លួនអឺនឬស្លើយតែគេបរុបធ្វើអង្គប្រជុំនៅស្
Did you find anything that was incorrect about the statement? Well, the problem is that today you are telling us different stories when it comes to stories that don't that are different from BBC Camp statement. And while in the morning you basically, it was basically possible to refresh your memory. Now in the afternoon you say, I didn't say that. So can I sum up? When you made your decision, first of all, you did tell the truth that you were not able to tell the truth. Then you said that you were not able to tell the truth. Then you said that you were not able to tell the truth. Understand? This is ten years ago. So you told the truth. You read the statement. Now you were finished. สมเพียงนั่งกล่าวไปเป็นเลยคือสมเพียงชอบแต่ตรมตรายเด้บาดจำตรายเงินแต่ทุกอย่างถูกถูกถูกถูกถูกถูกถูกถูกถูกถูก
what was done with them after they were captured. Look, 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 let me read to you then uh, what you told DC Cam Your Honours, uh, this is Khmer English French Question. During combat, Yes, we captured some. Question, what did you do to them? They were transported by truck and Mr. Witness, is that part of your DC cam? Uh, or were you not aware? ตาจําหลายนี่เกียร์จําหลายตรัสรู้รู้กระลุกมันบานดังเอาไว้เต้เปียปอนังกาจับคลุนเวียดนามนี่มาสมกายดำเลยไอ้ซาจิบซางเล
sabihin na tatay. 